Hey viewers and welcome to my channel. They say there's only two certainties in life, death and taxes. This may be true for spreadsheet dictators with an unhealthy addiction to spray on suit pants. But when it comes to the world's lowest income tax countries, a finer quality of life can exist. The truth is that no one wants to watch huge chunks of their income being confiscated by the taxman. This is what makes the idea of uprooting and re-establishing life on an exotic island with a few coconut trees and zero income tax so darned appealing. Sun, sand, sangria and a full pay packet with no tax sounds like the fast road to retirement, right? We explore some of the countries that have little to no income tax alongside their livability rating, not all countries with zero or very low income tax offer an idyllic life. Before starting, support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. Number 10. Madagascar. The tiny island nation of Madagascar also has one of the smallest tax burdens in the world. Although the World Bank doesn't offer any data on individual income tax rates. The net contribution of taxes to Madagascar's GDP is a scant 10.52%. This leaves its residents with more money in their pockets to explore the country's beautiful landscapes and exotic wildlife. Number 9. Switzerland. The mere name of Switzerland likely conjures up many images in the minds of most Americans, such as chocolate, the Alps, neutrality and bank accounts. And, as far as its reputation as being a tax haven, the rumors aren't too far from the truth. Yes, individual income tax rates can go as high as 40%, and the country does have indirect taxes of 7.7% and an employee social security tax rate of 6%. However, as a percentage of GDP, tax revenue in Switzerland only reaches 10.17%. Number 8. Paraguay. Paraguay has taken a hit in 2020 thanks to the global pandemic, like many other countries, but it is holding up rather well. The World Bank credits the country's solid macroeconomic base financial system and poverty reduction policies with limiting the country's economic decline in 2020 to just 1.2 percent, with recovery predicted in 2021. The tax burden on Paraguay's residents amounts to only 10.04 percent of the country's GDP. Number 7. The United States of America. Would you believe that the good old United States of America is one of the least taxed countries in the world when it comes to tax revenue as a percentage of GDP? Perhaps this is a little misleading, as the US is by far the largest economy in the world in terms of GDP. The passage of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act in 2017, however, has also contributed to a lower American tax rate. The top bracket now reaches 37% for individuals, with the overall contribution of taxes to GDP at just 10.02%. Number 6. Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is the only former Spanish colony in sub-Saharan Africa. The country is blessed with an abundance of arable land and valuable minerals and commodities. Ranging from diamonds and gold to oil and uranium. Over the past decade, the country has been one of the fastest growing in Africa. Its residents have benefited on the tax front, as tax revenue as a percentage of GDP sits at a very low 9.59%. Number 5. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is one of the few countries in the world with no personal income tax. Although it does have a 10% social security tax and indirect taxes of 15%. Yet, even this oil-rich country has struggled in 2020. Falling oil revenues forced the nation to implement a 5% value-added tax in 2018. And the economic upheaval triggered by the coronavirus pandemic triggered a tripling of that tax in 2020, to 15%. If things continue to get worse, the kingdom may see its tax revenue rise to more than the current 8.93% of GDP. Number 4. Argentina. Argentina has a top personal income tax rate of 35%, with indirect taxes standing at a high 21%. Taxes as a percentage of GDP, however, sit at a low 8.04%. Argentina has one of the biggest economies in Latin America, relying on vast energy and agriculture resources as primary contributors. However, the economy is currently struggling to pull out of crisis mode. After struggling for two years with strong economic weakness, the COVID-19 pandemic has dealt another blow. In the second quarter of 2020, 
Argentina's GDP shrank by an astonishing 16.2 percent, the biggest retraction in the nation's history. Number 3. Ethiopia. Ethiopia has a 35 percent top personal income tax rate, but overall tax revenues comprise just 6.66 percent of GDP. Although Ethiopia is regularly mentioned as one of the world's most impoverished nations, which it still remains the country has some of the highest income equality in the world. Ethiopian poverty is also making major strides, with the poverty rate falling from 44% in 2000 to 24% by 2016. The Ethiopian economy has also been growing sharply for years. The state is actively engaged in Ethiopia's economy, pumping money into it via infrastructure and other projects. Number 2. Myanmar. For a low-tax country, Myanmar has a relatively high top personal tax rate of 25%. However, employee social security tax rates are just 2%, and tax revenue as a percentage of GDP is a meager 5.81%. Formerly known as Burma, the country is still struggling to free itself of its authoritarian past, with its first free elections only held in 2015. The coronavirus pandemic has hit the country hard. But prior to the outbreak the country was expected to post economic growth of 6.3% over fiscal year 2019-20. Number 1. United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates is at the top of this list for one good reason. The country enforces neither a personal nor a corporate income tax. This is due in no small part to the immense oil and gas revenues generated by the country. The country did enact a 5% value-added tax in 2018 for the first time, which generated DH 25 billion, equivalent to about $7.3 billion USD at today's exchange rates. Overall, tax revenues accounted for just 0.96% of the UAE economy. That bring us to the end of this video. Let us know what you think about the list in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, Please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next video.